Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBDesigns.com, Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator. Today's card is a fun fold card that actually is a gift card holder. Now this is a beautiful card that my friend Debbie Mookie had sent me and she used that new Ever Eden Specialty Designer Series paper that is um, while supplies last. It is paired right now with the Eden's Garden Suite, which was an early release to our January um, mini catalog that'll be coming out. But I just love this paper. And I love the fact that she pulled in some misty moonlight and she used this great um, encircled and warmth stamp set. Actually, I have not got that, but I think that is going on my order. It is not too late to get that. Um, we still have all of December ahead of us and I really like that stamp set. So she used that on the outside and the inside and then just tuck a gift card holder in there. Well, I got to thinking how I might like to try to make that with actually cardstock and then putting designer series paper. So I pulled out my tidings and trimmings. I think this is literally my favorite Christmas stamp set this year. Um, it was in our annual catalog as a new stamp and I really like this tidings and trimmings and the paper that went with it the Christmas tidings and so I use this one I love these fonts in here and I also use the Christmas season with the really cool pine cones and the holly and the different foliage here now when you go to make this card using designer series paper you're just going to use a four inch wide by 12 inches. Okay, so if you were going to make this gift card holder, you're gonna have 11 inch, and if you cut it at four, you're gonna get three of them out of a piece of designer series paper. And the way you're gonna score them, it's really cool. And this is so quick and easy using designer series paper because you're just using the designer series paper as the card. And if you're doing the four by 12 DSP, you're going to put it into your trimmer and you are going to score it at three quarters, three quarters, and then you're gonna score it at five, slide it over to five, score again, and then you're going to open up your trimmer there and you're going to take it over to 10 and a half. So take it over to 10 and a half and score again. So again, your scores were at three quarters, five, and 10 and a half. Okay, you are just gonna think this is hilarious how easy this is to make. So you can, especially when you're going to make this, um, it's nice to have a paper that really coordinates well together. So you can fold it right there, and then this here, and then you fold up your pocket right there. So right there is your whole card. Is that easy peasy or what? You can just adhere down this three quarter inch piece and then you would just adhere these two after you've put a piece of white in here. Now your white that would go in here would be, since this is four, it's gonna be three and three quarters. And all of these measurements are on my blog, cindyleebdesigns.com. And also underneath the YouTube description, I have a place where it says, visit my blog here. And you can just go right over to my blog to get those measurements. But also in the description, I have the measurements. So you're just going to use a three and three quarters. And since this here is, I do believe, five and a half, it should be because that's what it, yes, five and a half. So you're just going to do three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then boom, you are done. Just decorate the front. You've got your gift card holder. But since I wanted to try this with cardstock, I pulled out a 12 by 12 piece of real red that I had. Now you can buy in our different families, the subtles, regals, neutrals, and brights, you can um, get 12 by 12 packs. And so you're also going to get three out of that. I happen to have the red and we're going to do that same thing with this cardstock here. We're going to put in the 11 inch side at the top and we're gonna score at three quarters and then we are going to go to um, five, we're gonna go to five 
And then we're gonna open up our trimmer and go to 10 and a half. So 10 and a half. So we've did those same exact measurements there. Okay, I'm gonna put my trimmer away there. And like I said, you just fold your pieces and you create your pocket. And right there, you now have that same size, same height, same width, and now you're working with cardstock. Now on this one, I just cut my designer series paper. I used that red base so that I could accent with red. And I put this really beautiful painted Christmas DSP with the pine cones on there. And whenever I did that, the DSP on the bottom where the pocket is, is one and a quarter by three and three quarters, because remember this is four inches wide. And then that would mean this is also three and three quarters, but this is four inches. So this is four inches is a little bit is covered up. Now when I made this one, since this was three quarters, I just took a little leftover piece of evening evergreen that was three quarters width and I just ran it through my Tasteful Textiles. It gave it a kind of real Christmassy sweater texture to it. And I put it across there and I just popped in my pine cones into my Stamparatus, made a whole bunch of them. And on this one, I used the crumb cake as the bottom bigger pine cone and then the accented color was soft suede. I thought it matched really well with these pine cones in there. And then there you go, wishing you a joyful Christmas, happy new year, a, this favorite, I love this. So that was how I made, I was inspired by Debbie's and I made a cardstock one. However, some of you may not have the 12 by 12. And honestly, I don't have a lot of 12 by 12 paper. I always have eight and a half by 11. So I'm going to show you how to make the same gift card holder, but using an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Okay, we're also going to still use our painted Christmas paper and we're still going to use our also our Christmas season stamp set. Now, what we did here is, let's pull all our pieces out here. We have our eight and a half by 11. So here we go, we're at 11 inches instead of 12. And what I did is I scored at one and a half to make the pocket, and then I pushed it over and I scored again at six and three quarters, okay? So as I was doing my trimmer, I just took that 11 inch side and put it at the top and I did one and a half and then I went over to six and three quarters, six and three quarters and I made my second score, one and a half and then six and three quarters, well, one and a half, I know it's a little confusing. I did it at one and a half, pushed the paper over to six and three quarters and made my second score line, okay? put that away. And so now I have enough of a um, overhang of that piece there so that the card would close. And you can see it's only a little shorter. So it still fits into an A2 sized medium envelope. But I also did something different here is I made it exactly four and a quarter, which is half of our eight and a half by 11. So no more trimming off things. So if you're going to make this one, you're just using your eight and a half by 11, cut it at four and a quarter. And then on the 11 inch side, just score one and a half and six and three quarters. And there we go. And then we're just going to pop on some designer series paper. And that is just going to be a four by four piece here. So we're gonna go ahead and put that onto our upper part here. I'm just gonna open this up so I can see the score line. So we're gonna put it right there so we get like a nice equal one eighth inch border the whole way around. There we go. And then we also wanna put one down here. And as I said, it's gonna be four inches by one and a quarter because we made this one a little bit wider. Why'd we make it wider? Just because we could cut the paper right in half. And then that was no problem at all. Then just get a nice 1 8 inch border the whole way around that pocket. And then the white that's gonna go in here 
is actually going to be, I know it's four, it's four by five, because this is only five and a quarter, because we broke off some of it because we only went to 11 inches. So that is gonna go on the inside of here. So let's just see if I already stamped it. I did not. So we're gonna go ahead and stamp on the inside here with some Evening Evergreen. Open up that Evening Evergreen. And we're gonna stamp on the inside here. Just get a little, little taps. And I'm going to, I'm gonna make this straight here so I can see if I'm doing it nice and straight. I have a feeling I'm a little crooked today. It's kind of been my, I think that looks great. There we go. So we're gonna put that on the inside of our card. You can write a message there and then of course you're gonna pop your little gift card in there. And technically, if you don't want to even put a gift card in there, you could just close up this bottom here, and that's just a really fun card. You don't have to put a gift card in there. But since we are, we're gonna take some of our tear and tape. I'm just gonna pop that right down on these flaps here. And we don't really have to worry because the gift card is gonna fit in there perfectly. Let's get out my paper piercer here and get that protective covering off of there and get this protective covering off this side too. Cooperate with me. Thank you. And then we're just going to pop that there and you can see how easily your little gift card fits in there. We're going to close that down and we're going to play around with the front here. And this is actually, I've used this stamp set a lot, but it was the first time I actually used the foliage. I love this sentiment. Just, I think, should we pop this up? Hmm, I think I'm gonna leave it, let's see here. We're gonna put it on the front here. We're gonna make it equal distance from each side. And we're gonna be putting on this beautiful evening evergreen that matches that fla uh, foliage and then a piece of pear pizzazz inked and some little red berries. So do we want this popped up? Let's see. I think we will pop it up. So let's get some dimensionals here and just pop this up. There we go. And here we go and pull off those backings and then we're going to put that right in the middle there. I love the fact that this dark evening evergreen is a really nice pairing with this pear pizzazz here and some garden green. Now we're going to put this sweet little, when I'm using my, um, either my stamp and seal, I just happen to have, um, some of our old snail here. This way it won't stick to my paper. So I'm gonna put that right there. And then we're going to put this pretty pear pizzazz there. Okay. And put this across here. So pretty in there. And then I already put some of these mini dimensionals on the back of these berries. You know what's funny is in this stamp set, if you have it, there are these little four berries. And it was kind of, every time I was using it, I'm like, I just want three berries. Why are those holly berries that go on it? But then I realized these little berries go right on these, this little stem here. And I was like, oh, that's why those th four berries are together. So then we're just going to put a few little red berries here. And I did play around with this before I made this video and thought, where are those berries gonna go? I think actually they should go right there maybe. Who knows, I may play around with that a little bit before I actually take pictures. So there we go, we have a pretty little gift card holder. And that one is a little different here. I didn't, 
I didn't have the the space to flip over the bottom of this, but I have to tell you, I played around with, let me see if I can find it. I played around with putting a, another piece on here and I thought the red kind of made a, um, a, enough of a distinction in that that's where you open it. So like I said, that could actually be a card. That could easily just be a card opening that way. But you could also, and if you did, um, yeah, or you can put your gift card in there. So there you go. You've got the one that's a little bit bigger and then you've got the one that's just a tad bit not as high, but a little wider, okay? And it all came from this pretty gift card holder that my friend Debbie Mookie sent me. So, review, okay. If you're making it with the designer series paper like Debbie did, you're just gonna score it at three quarters and then five and 10 and a half. But if you use my measurements using eight and a half by 11, you're just going to score it at one and a half and six and three quarters. You won't have that little fold up flap there, but it's just a different way if you don't have any 12 by 12 card stock, which not a lot of us have on hand, but you can get. So thank you so much for buzzing by friends. Um, if you have any questions, you can always contact me at cindyleeb at gmail.com. You can call or text me at 724-323-2296. Thanks for buzzing by friends.